Here are 12 Discord tips and tricks that you probably didn't know about. Take a shot every time I say account settings. You can actually mention voice channels. To do this, you must have developer mode enabled. To enable it, go to your account settings, scroll down until you see advanced, and enable developer mode. You are now able to copy IDs. Right click on the voice channel that you would like to mention and copy its ID. Then type the less than key, pound key, hashtag, number key, whatever the hell you call it. Paste your ID in, greater than key. If someone were to click on this, they will automatically join that voice channel. There is actually a way to change your Discord tag without having Nitro. Go to your account settings, edit your username, and change your username to your current tag. Discord will randomize your tag number as Discord doesn't allow users to have the same tag as their username. This feature is somewhat new. If you were to go to your account settings, I've probably said that like probably three times now, accessibility, and move this bar to around, I'd say about 80%, you can actually bring back the old blurple. This feature is actually used for color saturation, so please know that this will also affect other things on Discord, such as link names, statuses, the yellow bar when you are mentioned and stuff, but it's barely noticeable. Discord has many keybinds that can make your experience easier. Here are just a few of them. By the way, this is for a standard English Windows keyboard. Control E opens the emoji picker. Control F toggles search in the current channel you're in. Control Alt right arrow key toggles the last server you were in along with the last DM you were in. Control K toggles quick switcher. Control plus apostrophe starts a call in a DM. If you want a full list of keybinds on Discord, press Control slash or Command slash if you are on a Mac on your keyboard. Please note that this may differ if your keyboard isn't a standard English one. Want to send a message that looks blank when in reality it isn't? Type two asterisks, space, and then another two asterisks. Now go for it. Confuse your friends. Make them think your Discord is broken. Remember when I mentioned keybinds in Discord? Well, you can actually make your own. Go to your account settings and scroll until you see keybinds. Click on keybinds, click on add keybind. Then select the keybinds action, which I will do toggle mute, and then run the command to record your keybind. Close out of your account settings and now run your newly created keybind. Please note that if the custom keybind you choose conflicts with a built-in Discord keybind, Discord will automatically disable the built-in one to allow you to use the custom one. Do you just hate it when you boot up your computer and Discord is like, Brief yet. Easy. Go to your account settings, scroll down until you see Windows settings, and uncheck the first box, aka Open Discord. Discord will now stop opening the moment your computer turns on. Do you just hate it when you type a smiley emoticon and Discord converts it to an emoji? Easy way to fix it. Go to your account settings, text and images, and uncheck the fifth box, aka automatically convert emoticons in your messages to emoji. Discord will now stop converting those precious little emoticons such as these into emojis. There is still a way to check mentions on both desktop and mobile. On Windows or Mac, or Linux if that's what you use, you can check your mentions by going to your inbox, which is this box icon close to the top right corner of your screen. On mobile, tap the search button at the bottom of your screen and hit mentions. You can now see where you're mentioned, whether it be via an everyone mention or by a role. Did your favorite YouTuber just upload and you want to add reactions but don't want to waste your time clicking on each one individually for about 30 seconds just to max out? Easy. Open the emojis tab, hold down shift under your keyboard and start clicking on the emojis that you would like to use. There's another way to add reactions to your own messages. Type the emoji you would like to add to your message, and then add a plus before it, and press send. That exact emoji will react to your most recent message in the channel you are currently in. When you set your status to online, you will not only have to hear that notification sound, but sometimes when you are working on something else outside of Discord, or even on a different server, you will get a desktop notification from the last server you were in, 
And if that server is active, the bottom right of your desktop will be going nuts. There is an easy way to fix this. Guess where you have to go to do this one? I'll give you 10 seconds. Time's up, you're wrong, it's your account settings. Go to your account settings, scroll down, click on notifications, and uncheck the top box. Now all you'll be hearing is that beautiful Discord notification. I'm just kidding on that one, it can get super annoying. Bonus, you can burn your eyes right out of their sockets using Discord. All you have to do is go to your account settings, appearance, and toggle light theme. <laughs> Ah! This stunt was performed by a professional, who has had previous experience in such stunts, sort of. Do not attempt what you just saw at home, unless you want to go blind. Stax Incorporated takes no responsibility for any eye damage caused by Discord Light Theme. <laughs> Love it.